The pandemic changed the way many of us think about our future and estate planning is no exception. As we move further into 2024, new trends have emerged that could significantly impact how you plan for the future. Today, we're going to explore these trends and what they mean for your estate planning strategy. Whether you're just getting started or looking to update your plan, these insights are crucial to ensuring that your legacy is protected. Hi, I'm estate planning attorney Mike Smith with Smith Baird LLC and I'm one half of the estate planning guys. The COVID-19 pandemic brought estate planning to the forefront for many, and now, as we settle into a new normal, there are key trends that you need to be aware of. In this video, I'm going to break down the most significant post-pandemic trends in estate planning and what they mean for you and your family. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how the pandemic has reshaped estate planning and the steps you can take to adapt your plan to these changes. These trends are more than just temporary shifts. They're now the new reality in estate planning. At Smith Baird, we've helped thousands of clients navigate the evolving landscape of estate planning especially as the pandemic brought new challenges and opportunities. And we've seen firsthand how these trends are shaping the future of estate planning. And today I'm sharing some of these insights with you. Let's dive into the key trends that have emerged post pandemic and how they could impact your estate planning decisions. What I'm gonna explain first is something you probably haven't considered. Going digital might be convenient, but it's crucial that you get it right. One of the biggest trends that we've seen since the pandemic is the rise of digital estate planning. So back during the pandemic, many states adopted uh, laws or executive orders that allowed for electronic signature of estate planning documents or other ways to make the process more efficient and not necessarily be an in-person uh, transaction. Now, with more people becoming comfortable with online tools, digital wills and trusts, that sort of thing have really gained popularity. And this trend has made estate planning more accessible, which is great, especially for younger generations who are more tech savvy. However, it's important to ensure that any digital documents that you obtain are legally valid and recognized in your state. There's only a few states now that allow the electronic signature of wills or other estate planning documents. So it's important that you know that your state allows for the e-signature of these documents before you execute them. Because if you, you know, e-sign a will in Georgia, for example, it's not valid and no court's going to uh, enforce that will. So just make sure that you know what the rules are in your state surrounding execution of estate planning documents before you sign up for any kind of digital estate planning. Now, this might resonate with you. Estate planning isn't just for the older generations anymore. It's about protecting what you value most, no matter what your age. Interestingly, younger generations have become much more engaged in estate planning since the pandemic. In fact, there's been a significant uptick in millennials and Gen Zers creating wills and estate plans. This shift is driven primarily by an increased awareness of the importance of being prepared. After all, the pandemic taught us all that we just don't know what's gonna happen in the future and the best plan is to be prepared for that. So no matter the age, it's great, it's important to have a plan in place. If you're in that age group, that younger Gen Z age group, or you're advising someone who is, it's important to consider not just the basics, but also digital assets. So things like cryptocurrency and online accounts, you need to consider those in your planning as well. And there are ways that you can address those through trusts or through wills, and sometimes state law will have provisions for an executor or a trustee to take control of those digital assets as well. Now, having clear healthcare directives in place is also super important, and here's why that matters. It isn't just about you. It's about easing the burden on your loved ones during difficult times. Another trend that's emerged strongly past post-pandemic is an emphasis on healthcare directives. So you may have heard the term living will before. That is a type of healthcare directive. There's also a durable power of attorney for healthcare. That's quite a mouthful. And in some states, there are documents called advanced directives for healthcare. And all of those things help 
to put someone in place to make medical decisions for you and give them guidance on what you would do if you were in, in a situation where you needed life support, you needed end of life treatment, and you're unable to make decisions for yourself. So all of those documents are more crucial really than ever because we know now that unexpected things like a worldwide pandemic can just crop up the spur of the moment without any warning at all. So you need to have these documents in place so that if something happens, you've already got a plan in place. Now what I'm gonna share next might surprise you. Having these conversations now can prevent a lot of heartache down the road. The pandemic underscored the importance of family communication. Many people now are more open to discussing their estate plans with their loved ones to avoid confusion and conflict later on. And I can tell you from experience, the more your family knows about your plan, the more likely that it's gonna come off as you intended and the less likely that there's gonna be any kind of conflict over it. Even if you need to tell a beneficiary in your family, maybe that you need to have a hard conversation and tell them that, hey, I don't think that you're in a position where you could serve as the executor, so I'm gonna to go to name your sister or your brother instead. Those kinds of conversations and transparency about your wishes can prevent disputes and ensure that your family understands and respects what your intentions are. So let me ask you a question. How flexible is your current estate plan? The ability to adapt could make all the difference. So the pandemic taught us that life can change really in an instant, like I said earlier. And estate plans need to be flexible and adaptable to unexpected circumstances. So whether it's updating beneficiaries or reconsidering how your assets are distributed, building flexibility into your estate plan is essential in today's world. If you're finding this information helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more tips on protecting your assets and ensuring your estate plan is airtight. By the way, if you want to learn more about these trends and how they might affect your personal situation, head over to our website. There's a link below in the description. We've got a resources page that's packed with free guides and checklists that you can download to help you get started. So to recap, we've covered the rise of digital estate planning, the increased engagement among younger generations, the importance of healthcare directives, the need for family communication, and the flexibility required in today's estate plan. These trends are reshaping how we approach estate planning and understanding them is key to protecting your legacy. If you're interested in learning more about how to protect your legacy, I invite you to watch our next video. Trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss it. I'm Mike Smith with the Estate Planning Guys.